Hey, what's going on guys? It's the RC Genius. Welcome back. Today in front of me, I've got the fire truck. I can't wait to get this part started because I'm gonna be installing the ESC, the receiver, and also try to start setting up the controlling of the ladder functions. Before we start working on the truck itself this time, I want to start by showing you guys in depth the radio that I've got to work with. So you guys saw in the first part that I have tested this radio already because I wanted to try and see how the steering was gonna work. It works great by the way, but I wanna show you this remote first because I didn't really go into depth with it in the first part. I found this remote on Amazon for about $75 for a six channel transmitter that was pretty good. The on switches on the side here, you can see that it's got the display of the channels in operation. So you can see how that works. It has a zero to 100% switch right here that is going to be for the water pump. This variometer here, a dial, is going to be for the ladder rotate function. And then up here, we've got two three-stage switches. This one's going to be for the ladder up and down. And then this one's going to control the lights. Steering and throttle are the same as always. That's pretty much the basics of this remote. However, it's got a ton of internal features that you can activate, uh, including checking out all of these different uh, ways that the channels are operating, like so. You can also enter so many different modes, including uh, setting up telemetry. It's also got uh, multiple models that you can hook up to this thing, so you can use the same transmitter for multiple receivers. It's got many options that I really, really like in this transmitter, and I was also able to set it up so that way the steering servo on the fire truck won't turn all the way so that way it won't break the truck, it won't oversteer. So this thing is really programmable, I really, really like working with it, and I can't wait to get this truck done so that way I can really use this radio to its full potential. So, that's what I'm using for right now, and now we're going to start working on the fire truck. Enjoy. Okay, so this is where I'm at. I think I'm gonna be done for right now until the next episode. I accomplished a lot in this one. I got the ESC installed, I got the receiver put in. The ladder is now controlled from two servos on the truck. I also cut a hole in the back so that way the motor can fit 
with the body over it. Just so you guys can see how the ladder is working, this three-stage switch right here is controlling the ladder up and down, and this one is controlling the rotate. So let's just do a little test here for you. And that's it, that's how it works. It's working really smoothly. I'm very happy with how this ended up working out. I had to do kind of two different tests with these servos. I ended up uh, sticking with this final one, which each one is separately secured. The first one, the servos were connected to each other and that one wasn't working so well. So that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next episode, we're going to be tackling the water situation, trying to get the water tank in place and the water pump in the back above the motor. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one.